Kavitha Dharmarajan. I'm a radiation oncologist and associate professor of radiation oncology and palliative medicine at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City. Hi, my name is Josh Jones. I'm a radiation oncologist and a palliative care clinician. And I have been working in the fields of both palliative care and radiation oncology and thinking about the intersection between the two fields uh, as an attending physician for the last 10 years. I am excited about this textbook because we designed it to be the go-to resource in the newly evolving field of palliative radiation oncology. It's comprehensive. It includes everything that a clinician would want to know in order to provide the best possible care for their patients, from how to have a difficult conversation, to picking the appropriate radiotherapeutic technique, to managing specific disease sites, including special populations such as children and older adults. And we have an entire section on symptom management as well. Well, palliative radiotherapy has been around for more than 100 years. It's really in the last 15 to 20 that we've seen an explosion in thought about how do we use radiation in an optimal way to achieve symptom palliation for patients with advanced cancer. And so we are really presenting the first comprehensive textbook thinking about how do you integrate palliative care, radiation oncology to use radiation for optimal symptom management for patients with advanced cancer. This book is meant to be a resource for everyone who takes care of patients with metastatic disease or with advanced cancer. I think it may be particularly helpful for residents and trainees, but it's a great reference for physicians who have been in practice for years as well. In fact, I received some feedback recently from some very senior physicians and they are excited to have this resource available to them. One of the things that I love about this book is that it has different benefits for different readers. So. Uh, my residents and radiation oncologists may find the section on basics of palliative care, on symptom management, on uh, prognostication and communication skills training. That may be far and away the most helpful for some providers. Others, particularly non-radiation oncologists, may find much more benefit learning about particular modalities and different approaches that we may think about using. So for palliative care clinicians, for medical oncologists, for surgeons, those chapters looking at specific techniques that may be useful in palliative radiation oncology could be incredibly helpful. I personally am very excited by the first section, which is all about the foundations and principles of palliative care within oncology. These are the chapters which no one ever taught us anything about in our generation of residency, which was about a decade ago, but which now programs are paying more attention towards around the country thanks to some important champions, many of whom are co-authors of the chapters in this book. Living in two worlds in both palliative care and radiation oncology, the book is really exciting to me because it speaks to providers in all different areas. So, so not only do I think it will be helpful for residents and for fellows and for trainees, but I think it, there are parts that will be helpful for practicing radiation oncologists to understand uh, fundamentals of palliative care and of symptom management. There are gonna be really helpful parts for medical oncologists and palliative care clinicians to learn more and understand more about fundamental principles of palliative radiotherapy. So. I'm really excited about the book because it really offers different clinicians different ways of learning about this synergy between palliative care and radiation oncology. Mm -hmm.